Can we get a race official to the sound booth? A race official to the sound booth. Good morning, friends. We are at the Go St. Louis Marathon weekend. <laughs> That's my friends again. Um, and uh, I definitely should have gone to the corral earlier. But I, oh, I think I can get in earlier. I am excited to be running the half today and bringing you along with me. Never done this before. We're gonna see how it goes. But um, we're gonna do a half together today through the city of St. Louis. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna talk to you in parts. We'll be quiet for parts and then we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I will make it the whole way holding the phone. Um, but I am still recovering from bronchitis and so if I have to turn it off, then I have to turn it off. Um, hope you understand if I do that, but I thought it'd be cool to be part of the experience. And uh, this is a big weekend in St. Louis um, and they've got on a fantastic event. I've never done it, but I've had amazing things. And so, yeah, we're gonna see what happens here. All right, I'm finding my corral. I'm in corral B today. So, not quite at the front, but pretty close. Um, and I should mention, I am taking this comfortably today. There's no pushing. Uh, so for the next units, I'm just gonna kind of take in the atmosphere and uh, I'll put the recording back on with a minute to go before we begin. So I'll see you in a few. We're getting ready to start Corral A. In a couple minutes. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm in Corral A, uh, B. So we'll be about a minute from when they start the race <laughs> before we go. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, right? I'm just going to let you take in the atmosphere and let me take in the atmosphere too. I'm not sure, by the way, how loudly you're going to be able to hear my voice. So the first uh, few miles, I might not say much. Um, and I'm going to assume you can hear me, but you may not be able to hear me, I don't know, most of the way. Who knows? So this might be a bit of a different together run in terms of you may hear very little from me, uh, even though I'll be talking to you, but we're just going to roll with it, see how it goes. And uh, if you can't hear me, you'll hear the atmosphere, which is just as important, right? At this, at this time, we're getting ready to start our elite runners at the A Corral. We're going forward. Now remember, Tina, do not go crazy. I have to keep myself normal here. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be the hardest heart. My corral hasn't started yet. Walking backwards trying to find some. I'm sorry, I'm walking backwards trying to find somebody. There are so many super shoes around. It's kind of surprising. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
right, here we go. Let's go! All right, I'm getting over the line. Now, off we go. Not sure I've ever done this before where I'm just running my regular pace in a race. We'll see if this is my regular pace or if I just think it is and I'm going too fast. <laughs> the last few years we've had this is a strange feeling right all these footsteps together so we are currently starting off in Forest Park, that's where we're starting now. I um, should have read up on my monuments we're going to be going by, but as for now, we're just starting off in Forest Park, which, those of you who don't know, is it's about five and a half miles around the outside, and it's just this beautiful park that has a zoo in it a science museum, I think a science history museum. It's got all kinds of lakes and a golf course and all kinds of cool stuff for us to go see. Um, and it's just beautiful. Uh, not, you know, people think of Central Park, but our park is actually really amazing. And so it's pretty cool to start here. <laughs> now we're coming up to these fountains uh, with this view oh I don't even know what the building is that's really bad <laughs> people from St. Louis will be mad at me right now So I think maybe we will begin now with doing a body scan, right? Not something I would typically do in a race or encourage you to do in a race in the official capacity, but why not check in with our bodies, right? Beginning of this run, and you can do it later on in the run. Um, so what I'm gonna want you to do, starting from your head, I'm going to do a quicker version. We're going to work our way down through the body and just check in with how we're feeling. So I want you to be in, starting at the top of your head, working your way down through your eyes, into your the back round to the back of your head, to your nose, to your mouth and jaw. Make sure everything's nice and relaxed into the front of your neck 
and the back of your neck, going into your shoulders, following it down your arms, to your elbows, your wrists and hands. Shake them out if you need to. Going down into the main part of the chest. Keep working your way down into your stomach, into your hips and pelvis, to your quads and hamstrings, the front of the knee, the back of the knee, into your calves and shins, ankles, top of the foot, bottom of the foot, and finally your toes. How's everything feeling? For me, fingers holding the phone are cold. Otherwise, I feel pretty good, which is first time in well over a week I've been able to say that. Probably mostly just the kick of adrenaline that comes from being in a race. But feeling good. How are you feeling? Okay, and how about mentally? How are you, really? Just give you a minute to think about that. Okay, how are you feeling mentally? For me, as you can imagine, mostly good. Just appreciating the ability to be out here right now, coming up to the one mile mark, and you know, looking down at your watch just because I said that. <laughs> I know some of you will be. But yeah, just soaking this in. Sunrise, I'm in my city. And I'm out here with all these other runners. So yeah, feeling good. Like taking these cheers. I want to see if there's any kids for high five. That's what I'm going to be on the hunt for today. <laughs> There's a cliff at the big red dock here, waving at Clifford. <laughs> and now we're going up past Washington University St. Louis, which, fun fact, when I moved here, I'd been here once before, and it was to be in a, one of my best friend's weddings, who was, which was here, <laughs> and it was on the WashU campus. And uh, I remember like kind of taking in bits of St. Louis, but never really giving it a second thought. She didn't live here, well, she, she was moving away from here at the time, and now she lives here, and I live here. So, a small world in that way.
We'll do a census check in in a few minutes, but I just want to just be in the moment for a few minutes before we begin that. What a while. Going up a hill, if you couldn't tell, how the breathing changes. Okay, I think we'll begin our census check-in. So if you haven't done this before, that's where we are going to take a pay attention to our five, I guess, key senses. Just check in with them. We're going to finish with sight, because that's the one we overuse and over rely on. But we are going to begin by taking a nice deep breath. So let's do that now. How are you feeling? Hopefully calm and relaxed. What do you smell? For me, I smell that like a... What's it called? Um, heat, heat something. Um, oh, forgetting the word. The stuff you rub on your legs to make them warm up. Heat deep freeze? No? You know what I mean. What do you taste? Me, I still taste my oatmeal. What do you taste? Now we're going to move on to here. Just going to, if it's safe to do so, take your headphones out and listen. If not, you can just listen to my sounds. Or maybe you want to today. Sounds like we're coming up to a cheer station, a load of people. So maybe you just want to listen to that. So going to give you a minute or so to listen. What do you hear? For me, I can hear a lot of footsteps. There's some cars. 
hear lots of birds, hear little bits of chatter, and that's about it, my breathing I suppose. Okay, next we're going to move on to a sense of touch. So I just want you to be in your body, paying attention. What do you feel? Just follow it around where your attention goes within your body. Off you go. A few more seconds, be in your body. What do you feel? Okay, and finally, the sense of sight. What do you see? Take a look around. Just make sure, as always, you're looking for details. What do you see? I'm an Achilles runner too, great job. All right, yay. What's your name? Tina. Tina, nice to meet you, Tina. This is Josh. Hi, Josh. Hey, and what's your name? Tim. Tim. Hi, Josh. Hi, Tim. I'm uh, I'm running Boston in a few weeks as, oh, as a guide. I'm really excited. Oh, and, as a guide, uh, even. Yeah, yeah. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done a full yet as a guide, so I'm okay. really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is Josh's first, first official full. Awesome. How so exciting. He's going to kill a 350 today. Great. Well, I will be definitely checking and see how you, you get on. And actually, I should say you're being recorded by now, right now. I hope oh, that's okay. Wow, I'm, uh, I'm recording you. this for uh, my podcast. So, yeah, so. Uh, so you will get a little, if you, well, if you can remember running for real. Running for real. All right, Tina. Business. And uh, so you'll hear yourself on that. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> well best of luck, Josh. Enjoy. Thank What's you, up, Tina. Tim? And I'll see you soon. Hey, go get it, Lauren. Enjoy. All right, thanks, Tina. Have a great run. Bye. Enjoy Boston. Beautiful. I will, yeah. Thank you. All right, friends. A few more seconds of what you see. I got a little distracted there, so... I'll give you a little bit more time. What do you see? You can tell where we are now, right? So what do I see? I see lots of volunteers working hard, not only handing out the cups, but also picking them up, getting the stations ready. Thankful for our volunteers. I also see the wine and cheese place, which happens to be a friend of mine's business. Uh, I see the city of Clayton, where I lived for a little while. 
and of course I see lots of runners and some signs chafing the dream I'm sure this seemed like a great idea months ago I like your stamina call me there's some writing on the ground encouraging people and now we're gonna go up a hill what do you see Now we're headed into a different area, University City. Used to run over here a lot. I lived in Clayton. Now we're going down a hill. Pretty decent hill as well. Okay, so in a minute, I'm just gonna kind of spread this out a little bit. In a little bit, I'm gonna do our updates slash check in but for now I just I want to concentrate on running downhill so my body is ready to do Boston in a few weeks <laughs> so I'm just going to let you take it in for a minute going to be going up again in a minute. Just like the down are pretty decent up. At the three mile already. Going up a pretty decent hill now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's nice. Oh, high fives. Let me grab one. Hello, go around. Fast high five of the day. Okay. You got this. More signs, pace yourself, nobody likes an early finisher. Marathoners, do it for hours, call me, and signs. All right, so now we've turned, we're running towards the sun. Those of you who've listened to the Running Realize episode, the inner disconnect, maybe you're thinking the same thing I am, which is that I should do primal yell. I don't don't quite feel confident enough to do that. <laughs> but let's just say 
I'm thinking it in my mind. And if you happen to be running to the east towards the sun, do it. Go for it. And if you feel confident. So now we're, I believe, going to be following this for quite a while now. This road. I don't know what road. Okay, so let's do our updates slash check-in with how things are going with you. If this is your first run with me, what would you be telling me about you? If this is your first time, if I'd never met you, what would you tell me about you? If you've done lots of previous together runs, what would you be updating me with? since the last one because well it's been two weeks for me with my bronchitis still not quite 100% which is part of the reason I'm doing this right now and not running hard but what would you tell me about your updates and I'll give you a few more in a few minutes after I've heard from you what would you be telling me right now Give you a few more seconds and then I'll stop mine. What else would you tell me? Either about you or about what you've been up to. Find myself in a little gap right now. No one around me. Okay, updates. What do I have to share with you? Well, yeah, it's been a few weeks. Uh, I mentioned about the bronchitis last week before I introduced you to Mike. And yeah, it knocked me down. As I said, I'm still recovering. Still don't feel quite right, but the antibiotics have done their work, taken most of it away. And so, I know I just need to give it a few more days and try and be patient. Um, I'm not going to lie, I had an urge, wanted to, this is two weeks out from Boston, I wanted to do a longer run today. Um, you know, just, so this is the last chance really, but uh, thankfully actually, Kyle, who I'm running with at Boston, talked me out of it and it was just the you know that friend who tells you the truth even though you don't want to hear it that was what he did for me and so all I'm doing today is just this 13 I'm not making it a long one not adding on any warm up or cool down just this um, what else well you may have seen me one best foot fitness podcast at the Sports Podcast Awards. So that was pretty incredible honor. Um, and while it's their inaugural year and they're definitely still getting themselves set up, it was uh, a really cool just recognition piece to, as I said in the 
episode if you or the interview afterwards it was more about the fact um, I'm going to let you listen to this for a second it was more about the fact that as I said in that um, it showed me that you can do what you love really enjoy what you do and still get some love for it I suppose so and on that note thank you to you those of you who voted and um, took the time out of your day to register to vote you got this for us you really did uh, obviously my team at Running For All is a huge piece of this the podcast wouldn't be there without them but you also voted so thank you for that Um, I love that there's trash cans on the course so that you can put your gels in there rather than throwing them on the ground which surprise surprise is not good for Mother Earth (laughs) and once again we've done climate to our together run okay so now I'm coming down Del Mar which is one of the better known streets in St Louis I'm starting to regret wearing a long sleeve getting warm already and I think I'm going into the sun most of the way don't know if you just heard the photographer clicking so we'll see some pictures of me talking to you (laughs) but yeah we're going down Del Mar which is a well known street and heading downtown this race, by the way, finishes right at the arch. And, uh, yeah, I've never done a race where I've even got close to that. Or even a run. Just taking it in a little bit before I talk a bit more. Because, again, that reminder, it's pretty cool to be out here doing this. And the fact that I'm at this place in my running where I can run easy and take you with me. Just crossing the tram tracks. currently in the 315 marathon pace group. I try and move away a little bit. I wish I had my sunglasses. I'm done. I thought about it. But didn't register that I'd be running into the sun most of the way. <laughs> okay, I'm realizing now there's not going to be any split offs. You're just going to have to leave on your own accord. Um, got enough to be trying to think about so whenever you're ready to leave the run you go for it I'm going to be running well right now I guess about 140 for this half but we'll see I may feel tired I may feel good but one thing I know I want to keep it conversational enough to be able to talk to you. Coming up to a loud area, 
water cups. Let's probably get some water. Yeah, let's try this. Ooh. Fingers are cold still. Knocked two on the ground. <laughs> Whoops. I managed to get Gatorade. Whoops. Should have a bit more experience grabbing cups. Well, I see Clifford again. Maybe there's two Cliffords. We've got some music coming up as well. It's a beautiful morning here in St. Louis. As I said, the sun is in my face, but that's okay. I'm gonna wave to Clifford. Um, sorry about about 40 right now and uh, warming up fast I think today oh there's some cool stuff going on down here let's have a look it's a Chinese dragon two of them We're already at mile five. Well, I have to say, considering normal together runs are about seven and a bit, it's just going by pretty quick. Steve was very concerned this morning about, or well, yesterday, are you going to carry your phone in your hand the whole time running? And I was like, yep. And I think so far, so good. I guess we're only five miles in. Maybe I could be making the same error we make when we race or run, you know? <laughs> only at mile, I'm already at mile five. But then mile 10, you're like, Ugh. So maybe I'll be feeling the same way. But we're not gonna be worrying about the future, are we? We're just gonna be in it right now. And right now, I feel good. How do you feel? By the way, say this early, I'll probably say it a few more times, I really want to hear what you think about this, because if you enjoy this, I mean, imagine if someday I could do this in the New York Marathon, and you could experience the marathon with me without actually doing it, or I could go to, I don't know, wherever, so... If you enjoy this, please share it on your social media or let me know so that I know to do more because, yeah, this is fun for me means I get to run with you and hopefully you're enjoying it too. But tell me. By the way, can I just add, for those who know about No Watch Me, which is my way of saying don't look at your watch when you're running. I haven't looked at my watch once yet. And that's freeing, because I'm just trusting my body to tell me what the right speed is. And that can apply to going easy, it can kind of apply to going hard. You know in your gut what the right pace is. We've just become reliant on our phones or our watches because we're out practice. But I promise you, if you give it a chance, like a real chance, you will know how to pace yourself and you will run to the best of your ability because you're taking the psychology out of it. Now I'm not going to lie, for me this is fine at this point, but you will struggle at the beginning to not look and you will drive yourself a little crazy by not looking but you will also soon recognise how 
good it feels every time you ignore that urge to look and how much better you're honing your skill each and every time you resist that urge to look. take my gloves off actually much better take a moment to thank those of you who do go out and watch races and cheer people on because it does make a huge difference and I know that when you're out there it feels I'm going to let us listen for a sec you're out there it can feel like when you're back to what I was saying when you're cheering and you're saying the same thing over and over it can feel like what impact are you having but you are you have enough runners are saving every ounce of their energy to just focus on running the best they can I still hear it so thank you to those of you who do regularly go out and cheer or especially volunteer actually this is a good time for me to talk about so you heard us meet the runner from Achilles earlier, visually impaired runner, you know I'm doing that in Boston and Maui and that is such an incredible thing to do Um, and you don't need training you don't need uh, practice, you can just do it the runner will help you and you'll be surprised how quickly you get into a rhythm with it but it's such an amazing thing to do and again I'm going to stress you do not have to have training you do not have to have hours of practice you can just do it but if you sign up at United in Stride you can go sign up to be a guide on there for your area and that means that let's say a runner is coming through where you live to do a race they can see you on the database and they could ask you to do a race with them or maybe they could just ask you to show um, the course I'm going to try and grab a water again sorry thank you water <laughs> Spilled half of it on my hand, but I've got some in. And for anyone who still struggles to drink out cups, I feel you. After all my years, I'm still terrible at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, in the United in Stride, sign up and you could make a, a real difference to someone's life and have an incredible experience yourself while you're at it. Definitely recommend. Okay. Going up a few more hills. I heard it was pretty hilly on the first half. So we've just gone past the six. It's 
so we're almost halfway. so much better without my gloves on. Yeah. All right, first time I looked at my watch, 45 minutes. I feel myself now getting suckered in a bit by wanting to go faster. She's that like competitor in me, wants to pick it up. I'm gonna try and back off a bit so I don't do that. Because once you start getting in that rhythm, it's hard to pull yourself out, or at least for me, I was always someone who liked to um, just crank the second half, just slowly lowering the pace. So, to stop that in its tracks. <laughs> Promised to myself I would keep it easy to still recovering. And I know you'd be mad at me too if I pushed myself and then paid the price in a week's time. All right. Friends, what should we do now? Done all our usual pieces. We didn't do the nature check then, did we? I'm just gonna run along and touch a tree. Is there some element of nature you can touch? Just touching a branch. There we go. Blooms are really coming out here now. Beautiful. So I want to say I went against taking any fuel with me on this run. Probably wasn't the best move. And I would say to you, do not copy me. My body is so used to running um, at this pace. I had breakfast and I felt like that was okay for me. My Yukon gels are sitting good, I feel good. So I know I'm ready for them in the marathon, but I'm choosing to not practice again today, just with the trying to record this element of it. But for you, if you're going to do this long, make sure you know your body. Would it be better for you to have some fuel along the way? I should say, I did have a cup of Gatorade earlier, and I probably will again. But yeah, think about your body and what's best. All right, we're turning the corner. out in the sun. Oh, we're only going this way for a minute. Then we're turning back again. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Oh, actually I do. <laughs> this street we've just turned onto when I was about a year ago. It was a car. I, was, I picked up some house plants. Oh, it took Bailey with me. I picked up some house plants on a Sunday morning, and I was driving back, and a car flew 
out of one of the parking lots and I slammed on my brakes so hard that uh, two of my pots broke that I bought at the plant shop and uh, and uh, I had to pull over to calm down a bit because Bailey was in the car and uh, someone walked up to me and said oh my god we're so close are you okay and uh, I was but that was where we were thank you I love people like that <laughs> Thank you. Seven miles. Not been good so far. We're still aware that six miles left. So not to think too good too early. We've all done that before, right? Where we felt good and then paid the price when we felt good enough to pick it up and then it wasn't quite time. <laughs> well, this is the cool part of time. Oh, left bank books. I've heard of that. I don't think I've been here, though. This is a really cool little strip. Okay, I think friends, it's time for another body scan. I'm gonna have you do it at your own pace. I'm not gonna read out loud for you. I'm just gonna let you scan down yourself what feels right for you. So yeah, go on, check in with your body again. Tension's drifted, bring it back. Scan from wherever you left off. seconds. scan complete how's your body feeling now compared to early on is there something that this pain that is creeping up while you've been running in which case is that a sign you need to get it checked out <laughs> yeah come on little lady it's cute that wasn't at me. I know really that wasn't at me. There's a runner behind me that I'm sure they were talking to. Oh, this is really putting together St. Louis a little bit for me now. Coming to a, another patch I recognize. 
if I'm correct. But yeah, checking in. If you're doing this full, whatever time this ends up being with me. Are you feeling okay for, let's look again. 55 minutes in. Do you feel like you're about 55 minutes in? Are you feeling more tired than you should be at that point? If so, back off. Nothing wrong with that. It's going to feel uncomfortable for a few minutes while your body gets used to the pace. But you'll be okay. And you'll settle in and then feel good. Also relate to this, if you are enjoying this, would you, what do you think if I added in interviewing some people along the way? I mean, I'd have to pick carefully because I'd want to pick people who weren't really focused on the goal, making them waste their energy on talking. But what do you think? Would you want to hear from people? Would you quite like just running it? Or do you like not like this at all? <laughs> Tell me that too, honestly. Oh, about right, Rocky. At this point, <laughs> I'm gonna grab a Gatorade. Water. Ugh, I do not like gate raid. Yuck. But sometimes it does a job. Miles are flying by. We're already at eight. Thank you for keeping me company. This is awesome. I guess I must be feeling okay then if I'm uh, already at eight miles. Again, I'm not going to look at my watch, but I know that a few minutes ago it was 55, so it's a good sign. But I kind of knew that because I wouldn't be able to talk otherwise. <laughs> Went up another hill. I'm going to just quiet for a minute.
one of your gloves looks like it's about to fall. Thank you. I have it attached. Oh, okay, good. All right. Thank you, though. I just would hate to have you lose yeah. a glove. Bring it this far and then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, feeling good, friends. Maybe Tina's finally getting over this bronchitis. Maybe it's the runners all around or the cheering. This could be a good test case of uh, how much races make you feel better even if you're just in them, not racing. You're fine. That's a song you don't hear often in a race. Okay, friends, so if you're at an hour, you can cut off. But the rest of us are going to keep going. See how we get on here. I'll be interested to hear if you can tell the difference in my breathing as I'm going on. You know, because I feel good. But I can also feel I'm breathing a lot harder than I was. But I'm also going up a hill. So, yeah. Apparently we go to St. Louis. Races are reasonably hilly. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. This is where I usually get caught up. I like to like power up the hills and I get myself back in that rhythm of pushing too hard. I think we're coming up to where I took Bailey to see a live play of a really cool production. Yeah, it is called Last Stop on Market Street. If you have kids, it's a book I definitely recommend. We love it. And uh, we got to see a live remake of it as a play. It was really cool, like a musical play. It was, it was awesome. So yeah, I'm like tying together. I know like little sections of St. Louis where I've been. And this is like bringing it together of how they connect. It's pretty cool. This is Long Hill. Another thing you can comment to me about afterwards is, do you like it when people pass you and they say, like, good job, or you got this authentically? Because I often want to say it to people, but I feel like it's that patronizing, you know? So I'd love to hear your thoughts there. Finally at the top of this hill. Headed downhill now. In the theatre district, if there is such a thing, I don't know. Oh yeah, Grand Centre Arts District. Thank you.
Oh, and another hill. <laughs> That's all right. Keeps it challenging. Good practice for Boston. And Maui is supposedly flat as a pancake. Until we get to another up. Oh, now we must be on SLU, as they call it, St. U St. U Louis University campus. There's a circus. Another cool district that looks like it's being renovated around here. This is awesome. I love seeing when old buildings get repurposed for new stuff. I love it. As long as they don't knock the whole building down. <laughs> and this is really needs it, I guess. You should stop judging. All right, I need to back off again. Going up this hill, and I can feel pushing it a little bit. Oh, I wish I had my sunglasses. <laughs> it was a mistake of the day. Not used to running without them, or being outside without them. Good as, yes. like my part of the race where I just get tangled up in it and it's like a smell will finish. Do you ever do that? Oh, smell fries. Do you ever get caught up in picking it up too early because you just feel good and you want to so used to pushing it are you someone who's good at controlling yourself? Again, feel free to share if you want to share this on social or put this, send it to me in a message. I'd love to see where you are joining me in this race from. Nice work. in the hill. Coming in to see some of the skyscrapers now up ahead. We must be coming into downtown. So those of you who have been asking me about all birds shoes and a lot of you have I have told you that I am testing out currently on my feet right now a pair of all birds that I intend on wearing in the marathon next month this is their final test and I can't say any more about it yet but let's just say so far so good and it's not too far away from when they will be available to you. 
stay tuned. In the meantime, you can go check out the All Birds website <laughs> for other stuff they have. Oh, I need to pee. Oh, I think we're far enough along here that it's going to be a hold it. <laughs> but we'll see how bad it gets. You're doing awesome. Me too. Are you an influencer? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not use that word, but I, su I said I'd rather not use that word, but I suppose. <laughs> Where are you from? England. What's oh, enjoy your run. You too. Enjoy. What's your name? David. David. I'm recording this on a podcast, so David is on our podcast now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I brought back to you all. Woo! <laughs> running for real. Do you get that? The word. the word. Running for real. Running for real. Yep. Like what we're doing right now. Running for real. Do you live in England now? No. Nope. Where do I you live? Here. Oh, awesome. Yep. Where do you come from in England? Just north of London. Yeah. I am. Specifically where? Oh, St. Albans. Okay. You know where that is? No. But I've been to the giant market north of London. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Camden? Yes. Yeah, that's the one usually people want to talk about here. Cool. That's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that went down the wrong way. <laughs> David, enjoy your race. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that water went down the wrong way. <laughs> I guess still getting my breath back from that water going the wrong way. Alright friends, I know I'm not talking much, but yeah, breathing a little hard now. But there should also be a lot more people around. Haven't got long to go. This is my longest together run. I can see the Ferris wheel. You can see the arch. St. Louis arch is directly ahead of me, up ahead. I see the Ferris wheel at Union Station. There's an aquarium, all kinds of cool stuff down there. But I can see the arch right ahead. And I'm assuming underneath is the Capitol building. I have no idea, but I would guess the building directly underneath it from this view is that. It's pretty unobstructed view down there. And I just want to say to those of you who are listening and thinking, hey, easy now, easy now. I'm okay. I'm probably at like if you know my effort scale out of 10, I'm probably at like a six right now, which is fine, because I've got, I think, under three miles to go. But I'm not gonna crank it, don't worry.
All right, let's do another update. How are you? How are you feeling mentally, physically? What would you tell me right now? And I'll tell you in a little bit. Not a little bit, a minute. Going past the Union Station Hotel right now, up another hill. Got the trolls version of if you don't back me over, I will get back up again in my head as I'm doing this. <laughs> Bailey has been listening to that song non-stop. <laughs> There's a sign saying, I meet what meets, go vegan. <laughs> With a crab. <laughs> Watch the spiracy, it says. I've watched that. Pretty disturbing. Worth a watch. Coming to the top of the hill, the arch is getting bigger. And past the St. Louis Blues Stadium, the ice hockey team here. Not really an ice hockey person, but people like it. There's a camera, let's do some smiling. over a timing mat. Mile 11, two to go. We're gonna have a couple minutes in the bag. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, I never told you my how I was feeling. Ah, feeling it a little bit. I can definitely tell I'm going faster than I intended, which most of you probably could have guessed would have happened. <laughs> um, but overall, feeling good, mentally, feeling empowered inspired by runners out here, by people cheering, by people volunteering, all of it. Just runners in general and running curious people. Well, I did say it's going to take you on a race sometime. I didn't think it would be a half marathon, but here we go. So far, so good. You too.
think we're going away so we can come in by the arch. Oh, I know where I am again. We are going by Urban Harvest, which is this really cool rooftop farm on top of this building. It's a really cool mural on the side of the building. I've been up there. It's amazing the work that they're doing. And the farm is uh, the fruit and vegetables go to communities that need it the most. It's really cool. breathing a bit hard now but I feel good right I don't feel like my breathing is straining I still feel like I can talk to you it's more actually to be honest it's my mental which is what when Darius said he would record a two hour run I just said I didn't think about thank you I couldn't think about the mental side of concentrating for that long and uh, he did it he was up to the challenge but for me I feel like mentally maybe that's the old me in there but I just want to tune out well not tune out tune in I suppose but not I can't be I kind of run out of things to talk about which is weird because I haven't talked a lot less than usual but you know what I mean so with that said, I think I'm mostly going to be quiet now. Should be coming up on the 12 mile mark. And uh, let just enjoy it in. Thank you. Thank you. to go. 1.1 to go. See now I am wondering what pace am I doing right now? But well, that's the first time I've wondered it. Because once you get used to no watch me and you're okay with, you know, letting go, that's what you do. Just trust. Not that I'm trying to get any time, but you know what I mean. Big question is, could I hold this phone for a marathon? And now I feel like I'd have to figure a better way of doing it.
as for I talked about effort scale earlier. I'd probably say I'm at a seven right now. I'm still able to talk a little bit, but getting to the point where it's not really comfortable anymore. I'm at seven, six to seven. Yeah. Oh, now the hill. We're gonna run on some kind of crushed gravel for a minute here. Oh, it's just a few seconds. Go 
No plastic water bottle for me. <laughs> grab myself a medal and a little girl. Thank you. And yeah, that is it. All right, friends. Oh no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Appreciate you. Hope you had fun. I did. And, uh, oh, there's another one of my friends. So, I will uh, see you soon. Hi, friends. Just a quick message to say a big thank you to the Running For Real team. While I may be the face of Running For Real and the voice behind the podcast, there are a group of people who are working tirelessly to provide everything that runners could need within our community to make our community stronger, better and evolve and grow and learn from one another. We are working really hard to make Running For Real the place we believe it can be within our community. I just want to take a moment to thank everyone on our team. That is Victoria, Stacy, Sandy, Sally, Maria, Kelsey, Kat, Jeremy and Erica. I appreciate each and every one of you and the hard work that you put in. Now let's get back to the show. Thank you.